it's on my shoulder and this is my biggest one and also the one with the most details my only one with like shading and stuff and it's of a geisha girl in an astronaut suit holding a space helmet like it's off of her head and she's holding it so I drew this one and I gave it to them and for the one that Kyle did he pretty much did my exact design but when I went back for this tattoo, Hollywood had changed my design a bit more to his style. He has like a really specific style, but I liked it better, so I was like really okay with that. This one took about, I think, maybe three hours, so this is really long, the longest one. And definitely the most painful because it kind of wraps into my inner shoulder where like it's really sensitive. Uh, and also the shading, because I'd never had sh shading before, and that that's pretty painful to get the shading. So the inspiration for this one, it doesn't really have any deep meaning, but I just, there is this band I really like uh, from Japan called Asian Kung Fu Generation, and one of their album covers is a geisha girl in an astronaut suit holding a space helmet. So it doesn't look exactly like that because I kind of drew my own version, I just kind of took inspiration from that. But there's no really real like, significant meaning, I just thought it was really cool. It's good, like they're, they're really open to it, like I know some places like to change your design a lot. But I, I just like drawing my own tattoos because, like I said, like I, I'm an artist and so having my own art on my body is like a meaning in of itself, even if the tattoo doesn't necessarily have any deep meaning. But they're really good about staying true to my drawing. Like the only time it's ever been changed at all is the, the one that Hollywood did, the second one the, with the geisha girl. But even then he only made like minor changes.